you know, as you know, before this, I was kind of like, um, you know, in preparation these past few days, I was checking out some of your older songs and this very emotional song you have called Maryland. Um, it was, you know, what was it like being raised in West Maryland and, and also what went into that song? Uh, say, man, it was the best as like coming up as a, as a youngin, like my childhood was, it was perfect. It, it couldn't have been any better. Uh, and even now, like it's, it's a really nice area. It's a really sought out area for people to, uh, to live. But if you don't keep your nose clean, it's a fucking terrible area. And even out in the sticks where I'm at, that's why a lot of people are like, some people don't understand my music because, like, I'm from the country and they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? But if you put your nose in that part of the world out here, it, it can get really bad because you're right in between these two cities that are back and forth and, and you're right in the middle of it. And uh, I'd say my mid-teenage years, I started to put my nose in some bad places. They were the worst years of my life, but they were also, in certain ways, they were the best years of my life. And... uh yeah, there's no really way of saying how that song came about. It was just getting that beat that was very different from what we normally do and very different from that whole EP. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lyric, a certain lyric in it is what made it come about to be Maryland. But uh, there's definitely a lot of influence from uh, West Maryland in that song. But that was just a, a random come up for a really good beat that I got a hold of. It's almost indescribable how, like that feeling you said, um, how those hard years can be some of the worst years, but they can also be, you know, the yin yang thing, like some of the best. Yeah, years. dude. Yeah. It's, it's like, it, it, it's mind blowing because I, never want to go back to that I you know back to that frame of mind and I'd assume you wouldn't either but you you sometimes I wouldn't say you miss it but you appreciate it in, in a yeah way. like yeah I wouldn't be who I am today if I wouldn't have went through the shit that I had to go through yeah because like when you kind of get past it like there's this kind of like there's this thing I've been hearing a lot in like a Buddhist, um, Buddhist kind of teachings and, and stuff like that. And it's like the concept that you're enough is not, um, is not in a, a teenager's head. It's, it's really not, it's really hard yeah. to get in that head of, um, a teenager or, you know, somebody really young is the concept that you're enough. Yeah, definitely, bro. I mean, I don't know. Especially being, uh, you know, being a father to two kids. Um, I definitely learned a lot of shit from back in the day that I apply to who I am now and who I am to them, to my kids. And uh, I appreciate a lot of the shit that I went through, but definitely would, would never go back. Yeah. I, you know, um, this is what uh, Duncan Trussell has said about having kids. He said, it's more powerful than any psychedelic drug you could ever take. Yeah, dude, for sure. 100%. And I never thought that I would have kids and I never wanted kids until I had children. And it's like, fuck, dude, like this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Especially being the dad. Being the dad is the coolest. I hate to say this, but I think you'd be the... I, you know, you probably get this every now and then. Like, you'd be the coolest dad. You probably Yeah, be. dude. Yeah. I think I am. Yeah, man. 